Hello viewers, I hope you are well. Welcome to Elimu TV. This is the station where you watch and learn. And today I'll be taking you through biology form one. Our topic is nutrition and our subtopic is modes of feeding. This is lesson 27. I'm your tutor, Madam Sandra Awino. Welcome. By the end of the lesson, you'll be able to, number one, describe the different modes of feeding, and number two, you'll be able to describe the dentition of herbivores. We have three modes of feeding, which include the herbivorous feeding, whereby organisms feed on plants only, carnivorous feeding, whereby the animals feed on meat, and omnivorous feeding, whereby the organism feed on both plants and animals. Today, we'll only concentrate on the herbivorous feeding. As we have said, herbivorous feeding involves feeding on plants and herbs. Herbivorous are divided into two main groups. The first one are the grazers and the second ones are the herbivorous. The browsers, sorry. The grazers feed on grass, for example, the cow. They, they feed on grass. The second one is the browsers which feed on the shrubs and herbs. As you can see, the herbivorous teeth, the teeth has the horny pad. You can see the horny pad is on is on the on the upper jaw. We have the canine, we have the incisors, and between the canine and the premolar, we have the diastema, we have the premolars, and we have we have the molars. So most herbivores lack the upper incisors. Instead, they have the horny pad against which grass is pressed while being cut. Are we together? Grass is pressed at the horny part while being cut. And then we have the diastem, as you can see, it's a gap between the canine and the premolar. The diastem is a gap in the lower jaw separating the canines and the premolars. Are we together? So the diastem provides space for manipulation of food by the tongue so as to separate the newly cut vegetation from that being chewed. Are we together? So we have the broad molars and premolars. The broad molars and premolars are, are for grinding and chewing. The molars and premolars are for what? They are for grinding and chewing. And you can see the dentition of herbivorous. We have the eye which represents the incisors, the C which represents the canines, the I represents the premolars, and finally the M represents what? The molars. So, in our diagram, you can see the incisors are zero on the upper jaw and three on the lower jaw. The canines are zero on the upper jaw and one in the lower jaw. And the premolars are three on the upper jaw and two on the lower jaw. And finally, the molars are three on the upper jaw and three on the lower jaw. A total of... 30 teeth we've come to the end of the lesson and i hope you've understood the herbivorous feed on plants only and they have their diastema they have their honey pad they have their broad molars and premolars for chewing the only part is whereby the grass is pressed while being cut so you have there's an assignment for you number one is how are the herbivorous adapted to their mode of feeding you explain how the herbivorous are adapted to their mode of feeding number two what is a diastema number two what is a diastema for reference you can check KLB Secondary Biology Student Book Form 1 and for this and more you can contact us through our SMS number is 07231 0723 on YouTube you can get us through Elimu TV 
on Facebook you can get us through Elimu TV and finally on Twitter you can get us at Elimu TV underscore Kenya. Thank you.